In this video, I'll show you how to use our companion Android app to control the syringe pumps. If you're following this tutorial in sequence with the previous videos, reconnect the Bluetooth dongles RX and TX pins to the microcontroller. Then disconnect the microcontroller from the computer's USB port, and power on the electronics by plugging in the power supply. Once that is done, make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your Android device. Open the Bluetooth settings and search for the Bluetooth dongle. I've previously renamed mine to Flow System for clarity. When prompted for a password, use 000 or 1234. If those don't work, check with the manufacturer of the Bluetooth device for the default password. Once you have successfully paired, you don't need to do this again. Now navigate to the Companion app and open that. Now open the Companion app. Select the gray Bluetooth icon and pick the Bluetooth dongle from the device list. Before you can begin using the pump, a volume needs to be informed. The default volume is zero on startup. This is a safety feature. After informing a volume, navigate to the menu and open the flow rates page. Here you can select the flow rate for each pump. Press done to return to the main page. And now that everything is set, all that is left to do is press the start button. Once the pumps are in motion, you can interrupt them by pressing stop. For more information, visit our Flow Chemistry website and check out the cool research that we're doing in our lab. Thanks for sticking to the very end.